Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Chris Ford, aka Ford. If you're running the Great North Run this year, you need to watch this video. I'm Chris Ford, aka Fordy, and this is the YouTube channel for the Everyday Runner. If you are new to Fordy Runs, make sure you're hitting that little button down there, the little red button says subscribe on it. That way you'll stay up to date with all the latest running videos we've got coming out. Fordy Runs, we're going to be doing the vlog of the Great North Run as well. Um, we've got loads of other stuff. And don't forget to go over to the Facebook group of Fordy Runs. So you go over to the Fordy Runs Facebook page and there's a join the group button. Get involved with the running community we've got there. And don't forget to check out them links down below. We've got the Fordy Run store and all that kind of stuff. So, Links all down below. But anyway, this is a real treat. We've done uh, a video for the Great North Run coming up. It's uh, less than 100 days to go now. Uh, so what I did was I reached out to my friend uh, Michael at the Runners Ramble. I don't know whether you see Michael uh, and his stuff about the Great North Run and all the other things he does with regards to running. He's got a wicked YouTube channel. I'm going to put the links down below. Um, and you can follow him on Twitter as well and other social media. And I say, I'm going to put all Michael's and the Runners Ramble things down below. I say, he's working on some really cool stuff. Uh, but I reached out to Michael because he's a, a Geordie. Uh, and I wanted to get some pearls of wisdom from him about the Great North Run. I wanted to share them with you because I think we'd like to say there's sort of less than 100 days to go. We really need to start thinking about the Great North Run and getting our uh, brains into gear uh, with what's coming up ahead of us. Um, so yeah, so over to Michael with some wicked tips on the Great North Run. Hi everyone, or Al Reet is going to say up here in the northeast of England. I just want to quickly say thank you to Fordy for allowing me to be on his channel to deliver what I'm hoping will be some useful and beneficial tips ahead of this year's Great North Run. It's very exciting, I can't believe it's under 100 days until it's here. I do think from time to time, whether it's the first time you're doing the Great North Run or if it's your 10th time doing the Great North Run, we could all do with some new or fresh ideas. Hell, this is my fourth Great North Run and I'm still learning and I always welcome new ideas. So here's what I've learned so far and I'm hoping it'll benefit yourself. Uh, so let's get cracking. So tip number one from me is go and experience the Newcastle Park Run, the Run Expo slash Pasta Party and also the City Games. The reason I mention the Newcastle Park Run, I think there's a majority of folk out there who are travelling to Newcastle prefer to you know clear their legs out from what they've been travelling, whether it's a car or a bus or a train. And the Newcastle Park Run is perfect for that because it's a flat course. Everyone's friendly, everyone's welcoming, there'll be quite a few there I would imagine with it being a, a, a tradition of some sort, but just you know, sit back, relax, and just enjoy the run. Then I mentioned the Run Expo. Well, it's it's like what other Run Expos are like. You know, you check out what charities are available to run for and what they're doing. There's free stuff as well, I'd imagine, and also the pasta party is the highlight because I think you get like a token on your number. Um, you you tear that off and you give it uh, the one of the people at the pasta party serving stations and you get a couple of bowls of pasta which is perfect carb loading for the day ahead. And finally the City Games. I love the City Games. Being a former track athlete and, and jumper, I love to get down there and watch live athletics. If you're not sure what it is, it's just basically street athletics where all the big names in athletics come up and perform for free. Uh, there's a long jump pit at the quayside, there's a pole vault and track on the Gateshead side, just outside the Baltic Art Museum, um, or the Baltic Art Gallery, whichever you want to call it. Um, it's just, it's free, like I mentioned, and it's good, it's a good distraction if you're nervous ahead of Sunday, um, just to go and watch some athletics and see how it's all going down. You also might get a chance to meet some athletes because they tend to come up to the sides and say hello to the crowd and stuff like that, and sometimes they throw like their kit into the crowd, which is quite cool. Tip number two from me is know where your kit is. There is nothing worse than having a mini panic attack when you think you've lost a t-shirt or your vest or your pair of shorts or your waistband, um, stuff like that. So what I tend to do the, the night before the Great North Run is I lay my kit out in plain sight in the spare room. So the vest, the shorts, the waistband, everything that I need, it's there and it's visible. And that's what you should do even if you're staying, if you're based up here in the northeast or if you're staying in a hotel or B&B. Just lay it out somewhere that you know where it's going to be. A bonus tip for this is put either your calf sleeves if you wear them or your favourite pair of socks or your running socks that you're going to wear inside your shoes because you know where your shoes are going to be and there's less likely of a chance of them going missing if they're stuffed inside your shoes. Tip number three from me is give yourself plenty of time. So whether you're travelling from South Shields up to the start line in Newcastle or if you're coming from a hotel just outside of Newcastle, give yourself plenty of time to have breakfast, a drink, 
go through a mental routine and then get to your pen in adequate time because I learned in the past in 2014 that they close pens at a certain time. I didn't know this, I didn't read my bib. Read what time your pen closes and where it should be at a specific time. It can be easy to get caught up in the atmosphere, it's great, um, but make sure you get to your, your pen as quick as you possibly can just so you can carry out a warm up and have a bit of a sigh of relief knowing you've made it without them closing the gates because that's what they did with me and it was horrific mentally. Also, the metros will be busy, that's like the tram service that we have up here. So, if you're not great with crowded people, it might be better to get an early train or just like try and handle it best you can because it is going to get crowded. So, just hang in there, it will be fine. Tip number four is plan ahead and know where you're going to meet after the Great North Run. I think it's safe to say that without families and friends support, the Great North Run for myself or for anyone else, it would be harder. So I like to meet folk after I've run, um, just to say hello and say thank you for supporting me. So whether they're supporting you along the streets or they're gonna meet you at the pub or at the finish line, talk about well in advance, by the way, where you're gonna meet them. So the best place I think you could suggest is if you're running for a charity, meet them at the charity tents. You can't go wrong, all they've gotta do is find your tent and then hopefully that's where you'll be. Also, if you can, take a phone. Um, it doesn't have to be a smartphone. Try and get yourself one of those like cheap 10 or 20 pound phones and have their numbers saved. Just so you can give them a call and say, I'm at the charity tent, I've finished, where are you? Um, or you can meet them, if they've still got them that is, at the lettered meeting points where they go off your letter, off your surname and you just stand there and they come meet you. Alternatively, and it's not recommended, um, you can meet them at the pub. There are loads of pubs on the, the coast. Um, there's the New Crown, there's the Sand Dance and there's the Sundial. Um, if, the pub, if the pub is where you think you're going to meet best, then pick one of those pubs to meet at. It's, um, yeah, and it'll be busy, so if you plan on going home really quick, just be prepared to be waiting for a long, long time because it's going to take a long while for about 50,000 people to get onto a metro or a bus or a ferry. Um, so try and be a bit patient with that. I should, I should have added that in that adequate time, but you know now. And my final tip, which is tip number five for the Great North Ruin, it's a simple one really, and it's just go and enjoy yourself. Just drink everything in, trust your training, be proud of the charity you're representing if you're running for one or if you're representing someone, be proud. Honestly, it's a great day out from the minute you get inside your pen to running the course to finishing, it's a fantastic day out. It is hard, it is hard work, but I mean, you don't have to run all the way. You can do a run walk if you want. No one's forcing you to, to run all the way. Just enjoy it, drink everything in, in particular if you're a first timer because you can't re-experience a first time if, if that makes sense so when you cross the time bridge drink it in when you do the oggies before the time bridge drink it in and just just soak up the atmosphere honestly it's fantastic you're gonna love it and i can guarantee you if it's the first time you've done the great north run you will come back at some point honestly and it's because it's up in the northeast i think because we're all friendly up here believe it or not and there we have it. Those are my Great North Run tips. I hope they're going to be useful for you. If you've got any of your own or, or if you think I've missed any, pop in the comment section below so I'm looking forward to you take a look and also share them if we can. Also, go and check out 40 Runs on Facebook, the community that we've got going. I think I thought you could put a card up here or if it's in the description below. Go and check it out. It's a great group. Honestly, he's not paying me or asking me to, to mention this. I genuinely feel it's a good group. They talk about everything from starting up running to new events to new members, medals, shoes, watches, everything. Go and have a look. It's a fantastic little group to be involved with. And also I want to say thank you to 40 for allowing me to be on the channel. It means a lot. Thank you very much for asking me to, to do these tips. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would be fantastic if you could. Um, I would imagine there'd be a link in the description below or like a card somewhere. I don't know. I'll leave it up to 40 to decide. But thanks very much, guys, and I will see you later. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, I really do appreciate it and a massive thanks to Michael. As I say, check his channel out, Runners Rev, and don't forget to check all the other stuff out that Michael's doing with regards to running. As I say, check, hit him up on Twitter, 
and you can follow all the stuff he does um, and he's working on it. He's got some really cool stuff coming along, especially with regards to the Great North Run. But so I'm going to put the links down below and I'm going to put a link up somewhere at the end of the video uh, as well to Miles' channel, Runners Ramble, because it really is a great channel that he's got. Um, but say so, thanks very much for that. We're going to do another video, uh, well, not Michael, but I'm going to do another video about the Great North Run. That's going to be coming out real soon because uh, it's going to be about the training side of it and getting yourself set. Uh, with what you need to do uh, looking towards the Great North Front. So if it's your, probably going to be your first Great North Front summer night, it's probably applied to you. But that will be coming out pretty soon. And so this Great North Front is, is going to be a part of a series of the Great North Front we're doing. We've got Michael's video. Thanks very much, Michael. You're going to have like, the training one. Don't forget to check out the old videos that Michael and I did. Um, I did one and he's done a couple about the Great North Front. Definitely check them ones out as well. They're all on our channels. Uh, and then I'm going to do another video uh, leading up to the Great North Run and then we're going to have the Great North Run vlog as well. So it's all Great North Run stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Don't forget to give us some nice comments. Make sure you say you put some nice stuff about Michael. Take the time out uh, for doing this wicked video for us. Make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. We really do appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to put a video up here. Probably something to do with the Great North Run. Uh, but that's it from me and I'll catch you guys later.